ship combat game. Hey, I'm an indie developer and I work on a lot of games in my spare time. Uh, you may have seen Odia on my channel, but there's a lot of games that I don't finish. Uh, and this is kind of, you know, prototypes that are just laying around that I've been meaning to either do something with or leave to rot. So anyway, here it is, games I never finished. Um, so this one's called Airships. Uh, it started out life as a multiplayer airship combat game where you walk around on the deck of your giant battleship and you know it's floating through the sky and you uh it's a first person view game so you walk around and you press buttons you look at you know you look left and right i've been playing a lot of wolfenstein at the time so it's very wolfenstein uh 3d uh and so you walk around you press buttons and you click on things and that makes the airship you know change course or speed up and slow down or you know various weapon systems go or whatever i don't know so that kind of morphed into a single player game, and I reused some of the concept art and some of the design I'd done to do low poly models of the airplanes. So that's what you see there. Um, and so this turned into a very like single player narrative focused game. I was worried about the multiplayer aspect of the battle of the airships game. Um, yeah. Like I was worried about, you know, multi uh, so Unity multiplayer is a little bit finicky, it's a little bit difficult to work with. Uh, but more than that, uh, their matchmaking service does cost money to use, and I am, not, if nothing else, a cheap bastard. So, not going to do that. Um, so, anyway, you know, I reused some of the designs, and I started working on this single-player narrative focus game. And a lot of the time here was put into the uh, scenarios and the programming, you know, the, the locations and the sequences and the tutorials here, for example. Um, but the gameplay itself was actually kind of, you know, tenuous... It, it never really got off the ground. Uh, so it turns out, contrary to what I thought, you know, going into it, it's very difficult to program a realistic and fun flight model. Um, I thought it would be pretty straightforward, but I ended up coding lots and lots of edge cases and having lots of different issues. Um, so yeah, and so, the, you know, I spent a lot of time iterating on the version that you see here, and it's still not great. I don't love it. It fails in a lot of places. Especially when you get too close to the ground, you can't land the thing, and it has a lot of requirements for clamping, and it, it's a headache uh, to work on. So, you know, that was part of the reason that, <laughs> that this one got abandoned. Um, so there were a bunch of different levels planned. Uh, I only have the three here that I'm showing today, just because those are the only ones that I even got around to doing. Um, but, you know, you, you would fly around in your squadron, you'd fight the evil, the evil enemies, uh, defeat them, and, you know, every level would have a gimmick. Uh, you know, there's the classic tunnel, tunnel run, trench run level, um, you know, destroy zeppelins or large airships, things like that. Uh, and one of the funnest ones that I came up with, but, you know, never got implemented, was uh, a level where you get your, get your ship upgraded, you get your airplane upgraded, and it could then, you know, fly between water and air and so you could dive and shoot some submarines and then surface and then shoot some bombers or something that sounded fun to me um so but you know never got implemented all just on paper but you know uh so yeah i think we have another level coming up here in a minute so this is the tutorial level um you know basically you just learn the controls forward back turn left right um and then, you know, shoot things, and then shoot a moving target. Uh, so this is the second level. This is actually out of order. So that's the boss, but I just put it there, you know, so I could test it very quickly. Uh, but he, he's going to fire at you. It's a pretty easy boss. It needed a lot of iteration, but never got it. It got abandoned before that. So this level, you know, you're supposed to fly over to that, that lake and destroy the radio tower, at which point the boss would show up and be like, hey, don't destroy my radio towers. And then you'd say, I, I have thoughts about that. And you would disagree using bullets. Um, so one of the things I really liked about this game, the, one of the reasons I keep coming back to it, is it has this vibe, it has this art style. And like everything you see here is unpolished, but you know it's indicative of what the art style would be, uh, which is very like Advance Wars. Uh, that cartoonish... Cartoonish bright colored war is, is a vibe that I absolutely love and I carried forward uh, into you know the next game that I worked on uh, Jet Sky and that one actually released uh, and the irony is not lost on me I was worried about working on the airships game because it was multiplayer 
and then I released Jet Sky, which is a multiplayer game. Um, and that one used ended up using a custom solution for matchmaking that is far worse, but far cheaper uh, than Unity's version. So we'll see what we do next time. Uh, man, I love those tree models. I very well sprites. Those, those always turned out super cool. Uh, so here's the third level. This is the this is the tunnel run that I was talking about. You know, you intercept a train, you fly alongside it, and you bomb probably the front bit to stop it. I guess I don't know. Um, so I was testing out the mountains there. The low poly mountains look bad. Didn't like those. Um, so yeah, you fly around the tunnel. The, the tunnel is obviously very very temp, very temporary, and not what it's supposed to be and then you can see down there the mock-up of the size of the train uh figure out like this is gonna, it's gonna run on two rails but this is as far as i got with this level so we're just gonna go ahead and stop that there so yeah it all turned into jet sky in the end and this is what we this is what i ended up with um like i said very cartoonish but you know a lot more pixely a lot more snes uh yeah thanks for watching